Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. And we're finally taking a look at the best and top 10 of 2019 in terms of Gumpla mobile suits. Now, this does not include anything like Kotobukiya, SkyTube, or even humanoid things that are from the Gundam universe, such as Ayame. We're exclusively just taking a look at anything that is a mobile suit or based on a mobile suit, such as things from uh, the Diver series or, you know, the Fighter series and all that. Uh, but I'm really excited and I'm really happy to kind of reflect a little bit on 2019. We just had so many amazing kits uh, and I really just think that 2019 is going to go down in history as possibly the best year in terms of Gumpla. So go ahead, sit back and re you know, relax, enjoy yourself and uh, please don't take this list to heart. If you have your own different version and you know, you're like, hey, I think the High Grade Destiny is the best kit that came out in all 2019. That's completely fine. Uh, this is my personal bias uh, list, and I try to really incorporate things such as price tags, uh, the retail, and you know, things that are like um, you know, availability. Some some things is just not going to be on here. Uh, also, in terms of just articulation and everything else that goes into what makes a Gundam amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 10. And coming at number 10 is going to be the P Bandai Master Grade F90. Now this kit, yes, it is a P Bandai, but I still think it deserves to be on the list. It's just a fantastic looking mobile suit. Uh, I personally haven't built one, but just looking at everyone else's reviews, I'm like, man, I really wanna go ahead and start building mine. It looks beautiful, the colors are very vibrant, the inner frame is just popping. And the details are just, you know, all over, scattered all over the kit. So yeah, I really do think this uh, deserves to be on the top 10 list. And if you can, definitely try and go pick up one yourself. Now coming in at number nine is going to be the High Grade Destiny Gundam. Now I did not build this, and I really, I really wanted to build this. I'm not gonna lie, but I was in the transition of you know coming back from Okinawa to Iwakuni, and I just really had a lot of things on my plate. So I never got around to building it, but you know, seeing the reviews and just hearing word of mouth and a lot of uh, personal friends, this kit is definitely a top tier high grade, like some of the best engineering put in a high grade point blank period and amazing accessories and effect parts. So I think it's definitely well deserving of the number nine slot. All right, so now we're finally getting to some kits I've actually built. Uh, coming in at number eight is going to be, I'm just gonna say the Core Gundam and all of its different variants. This thing, the planetary system is super fantastic. I thought it was gonna be very gimmicky and I really wasn't too interested, but I thought the Earth 3 looked fine enough, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up, and I fell in love. I, I love the Core Gundam most of all because it's just a really cute looking mobile suit. And uh, I love all the other versions, you know, I love the V2, I love the Mars 4. Um, I still haven't built the Mars 4, but I am planning to paint that kit because it just looks way too good to just leave it uh, as a straight build. Um, the V2 is also one I, I was thinking about painting, but I just decided to straight build it. Um, but it's really good. I mean, this is a really awesome high grade line, and I highly encourage you to at least pick up one so that way you can be just as hooked as I am. Now coming in at number 7 is going to be the Master Grade Alex 2.0. At first, I really wasn't taken by it. I thought the promotional photos wasn't really selling it that well, but I decided to go ahead and get it because I really like Alex. I think the design is a really nice design in terms of UC. So I picked it up and lo and behold, I was just super blown away by the entire mobile suit. I think the inner frame is beautiful. I think all the gimmicks that it has, all the accessories, you know, the Chobit armor, I, I love it. I love the way it looks. And you can display it in different ways if you want just the Alex by itself or if you want the armor with just the inner frame on there or if you want to put the plating on top of the inner frame. You have a bunch of ways to display this and it just really looks good. And I highly recommend this to anyone who either loves Master Grades or if you like the UC timeline or if you just like really good Gunpla. And coming in at number six is going to be the Real Grey Crossbone Gundam. Man, I love the Crossbone, just the suits, the series, the aesthetics, I, I, I love everything about it. And the fact that we got a updated kit, just something that's better than Master Grade. I know the High Grade is fairly decent, but it, it's just missing a lot of color applications. But when I saw the real grade and it's like everything is just beautiful, all the colors there, it's an amazing cape, all the accessories are there, it's 
fantastic. The posability is great. Um, the only problem is like some parts are a little bit loose just because it's really small and you know there's a little bit of problem with that. But when you get all of it down pat, it's it's gonna look so great on your shelf, especially in some dynamic action poses. So yeah, I think this is definitely well deserving of number six. Now this was a real what the fuck moment. This is number five, the high grade G40. And trust me, uh, you're probably going to be like, the design is really wacky, it's off-putting. I kind of thought so at first, but man, it really just, I don't know, I got really warmed up to it. I really like it, I think it's very unique, it's, I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. And not only that, the articulation is superb. I do have this kit in my backlog, and I do plan to build it and paint it. But, unfortunately, I will be absent, so I'll have to put it on hold for now. But just go watch reviews, and trust me, you'll see why it's in the top 10 list. And coming in at number 4 is the high-resolution model, God Gundam. Wow, uh, just day one, I had to have this in my collection. I saw the, you know, the aesthetics, I saw the articulation. I love the redesign of it. I think the redesign makes it look so much better than the original. The effect part, that beautiful rainbow ring, man, I don't know. It's just it's this is the hallmark of high resolution models thus far, and I think it's just a very much welcome addition to uh, just Gumpla. And I really don't care too much about G Fighter. It's not really my favorite show at all. But hey, I'm going to go ahead and put all my bias aside. And I'm just going to say this mobile suit is, is superb in every single way, shape, and form. So I highly encourage you to pick this one up. And coming at number three is going to be the Massacre Dynamis. And I know a lot of you are probably upset at this. You're thinking, why isn't this number one? It's clearly number one. Trust me, I had a hard time trying to figure out what the top three kits are going to be. But, you know, unfortunately, I did throw a little bias in here. I love this kit, trust me, it is one of my favorite kits of the year. It's amazing, inner frame is beautiful, it's very sturdy, has an LED port, uh, amazing accessories, great detailing. I love it, everything about it, it just looks fantastic. And all the painted bills I've been seeing has really motivated me to paint my own with a lot of like nice shading and a, probably a darker tone green. But unfortunately, hey, not every kit can be the best. Uh, this kit is amazing still and highly encourage you to pick it up if you have not picked it up for your collection already. And now with Curios along the way, I'm really hoping we can get a 2.0 Exia and just have the whole gang together. Now coming in at number 2 is going to be the Real Grey New Gundam. I'm telling you guys, when I even just thought about this kit being in the Real Grey line, I was super happy because I'm I'm not a big fan of the Verka. I think the Verka is okay, but it's loose. It has a lot of problems. Parts fall off. Maybe to some people it's perfection, but to me it was more of a nuisance. The real grade, on the other hand, this thing, it's it's fantastic. The articulation is just uh, just otherworldly. It is. <laughs> It is almost like super robot at this point, and the funnels with effect parts, that's fantastic. Um, I love it. I love everything about it, and I really just want, I want to build another one. I, I want to keep building them because it was such a fun build. So please do yourself a favor and get this kit. Now it comes at no surprise, guys. This is the number one kit. It has to be. I don't care how many reviewers is saying the same thing and people are saying, oh, Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon, blah, blah, blah. No, this kit is truly the best thing that 2019 had to offer. Uh, I really did have a little struggle because I have a personal bias with the new Gundam, but the Barbados was just so amazing to build, and not too many kits make me immediately go to paint it right after a review. And I had to immediately, I, I just had to, I had to paint this kit up because it looks amazing and this is one of those kits that you can take it paint it up buy another one immediately after and then just paint the inner frame of that one and then display it alongside that maybe put in a shadow box together and you'll be super happy but that's it for me guys this is my top 10 i really do hope you appreciate it i want to keep it as short as possible and not make it like a 40 50 minute video just want to keep it you know short and sweet 
but that's it for me definitely thank you guys for watching and like always click that subscribe button if you haven't already all right i'll see you later bye bye